Good evening, everyone. There has been a lot of things going on in Nigeria. First of all, um, about one week ago, EFCC account was hacked. Anytime you want to access the EFCC account, it will tell you that um, the page is not opening. So EFCC, in their own bravery, they wanted to deny it that it was not hacked, that it's assistance maintenance. So today what happened is that uh, they now change the EFCC logo from ego to chicken. You know, that is a statement that you people are not ego. You people are just chicken. Now, the issue here is this. So the guy who hacked or the people who hacked the account, they now change the logo to chicken. And that is a message to them. You know, before this uh, end bad governance protest started, I said the government should not push people to you know, start hacking, you know, government um, websites and everything they are doing. In the sense that when you stop people from protesting on the streets, there are many ways for people to protest. They can go into cyber attack, attacking systems and so on and so forth. So it's like what I just predicted is about to start. The GTB bank, they are still complaining, hackers hacking everywhere. That is apart. This evening, about six people were kidnapped in my community. Now, this kidnapping before has stopped, now it has started again. Something must be done about it, it's so unfortunate. But I'm not surprised because uh, there is no effort to stop all these things from the government. Both the local government, the state government, and the federal government. No um, commitment at all to stopping security at all level. This is so unfortunate and it's so pathetic. And also in Enugu State, there has been a lot of kidnapping. When I mean kidnapping, mass kidnapping going on in Enugu State. I'm not still surprised because um, since Mba assumed office as the governor, you know, he tried to make some policies to favor people, to accommodate people. Mba fails to understand that there is a point we are in Nigeria now. Everybody must protect, you know, itself. If you want to protect your people, if you want to protect your community, if you really love your people, you must make sure that you don't have a heterogeneous people who don't have what they are doing in your community. Yes, if foreigners want to come, let it be foreigners that they know that these people are doing business, this is their office, this is where they live. Not foreigners who will come into the community and they will live in the bushes and so on and so forth. Now, the third thing I want to talk about in this video is the issue of um, private jets of um, Tinumbu. They want Tinumbu bought. You know, they seized three jets in France and I learned that federal government have, has open talked with that uh, Chinese company that took them to court. But apart from that, I saw the tweet of Bayo Nanoga saying that the uh, private jets of Nigeria is a sovereign asset that is immune to seizure, something like that. I am laughing because they thought that maybe this is Nigeria or this is Nigeria court. So from which law are you talking about that is immune? Which law? Even Chinese want to take some part of the, uh, whether it's a papa, wolf, something like that because of known again, I read that today. So when you are entering into agreement with someone, you violated the agreement. As far as either it's a state government or federal government, it, it is part of Nigerian government. They can sue you and seize your properties. They are not seizing your sovereignty. They are only seizing your property. So the three aeroplane seized are the properties of Nigeria. So they should go and pay. Go and pay. Learn how to obey court order. This is not Nigeria where you violate court order and no one will ask you and you do all sort of things just to make sure that um, nobody holds you responsible. You control the judiciary, you control everywhere. No, this is not Nigeria. This is France. You want to play international politics, right? No problem. You know, go and drag France now. Go and drag, or go and drag China if you want to play international politics. Now, the issue people are talking is that people ask Sinumbu, the masses, to say, not to buy the airplanes and they went they bought two one for the president one for the vice president and they said they want to sell the old ones now the new ones they bought is still in the switzerland now they 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 now see the two airplanes and one in france in a, what is it called france airport yeah so people are asking questions are you sure that tinumbu's administration really buy the jet no, that is the question people are asking, and the question needs answered. Do they really buy the jet? Nobody knows. So, P2B has come out to say that Tinubu's administration should come out today. You know, it has been a long time that these people, they bought this jet. What is, you know, delaying the delivery of the jet for more than one month now? And now the jet is seized. 
it's like when you order something you have not seen what you ordered and someone is telling you that the thing has been seized why are they using this in nigeria's money now another news in brief that i'm going to tell you is that as we walk through out this august as we're about to enter september if you are in nigeria it is time for you to start getting ready because of a lot of schedules in the end of the year the north are preparing for unannounced protests that is going to take nigeria you know on a way unprepared and showre is also uh, fixing october first to the october ending one month constant protest you see that there is going to be a lot of things that is going to be shaking and november december other people who are agitating people are saying they want to declare you know the republic and so on and so forth you, you know it's not gonna be you know a funny year end in nigeria so people should get ready for what is coming to happen in Nigeria. Even though you don't know anything about it, take it as an information because I also received the information, not because I know anything that is going to you know, happen or how it's going to happen. It's just information that I'm passing. But I'm not surprised because of so many things that are going on, you know. When you have a government that don't care, a government who want to make sure that they will never listen to the people, this is what you see chaos anarchy do these are the things you see in a country where their leaders don't listen where their leaders kill their followers because they are protesting where their leaders use military and police you know force against unarmed civilians these are the things you see in a country like this so here we are Nigerians have been reacting to a Premium Times report alleging that a French court has authorized the seizure of three presidential jets linked to the federal government of Nigeria. Two of the jets are said to be part of the Nigerian presidential air fleet, which were reported to be put up for sale, while the third is an Airbus 330, which was purchased by Nigeria but yet to be delivered. Well, according to the report, the presidential jets were reportedly seized after an application by a Chinese company whose export processing zone management contract was revoked by the Ogun state government in 2016. A court had awarded about $74.5 million in compensation. I mean, which kind wahala is this? A lot of people have reacted on social media. Let me just take this from uh, Okwe Olua, who wrote, well, moving forward, if a state must go into an agreement contract with a foreign partner, it must be sanctioned by the federal government or the OAGF, that's the Attorney General of the Federation. If the agreement must be cancelled, it must be with the explicit consent of the federal government and the OAGF. Which kind wahala be this? That was the tweet that I found. But you know, I mean, we, the federal government at this point is having to, you know, uh, pay for what the state government has, uh, you know, accrued. But we need to hear from the Ogun state government as to the reason why that, you know, Chinese um, contract was revoked. We also need to hear from the federal government as to what, what, what was supposed to have been done in order to avert this sort of embarrassment for Nigeria, according to uh, the news that is being banded around now. Yeah, this is an embarrassing story. And I have to give context that this happened in 2016. Mm -hmm. So it's not the current administration yes. in Ogun State that's responsible for this. However, government is a, governance is a continuum. So it's whether continuum. or not it was in yes. 2016, and this is why we, we keep emphasizing on leadership because a decision by, made by a particular administration could have far-reaching effects even down the line years and years afterwards. And this is what we've seen here. The award of over $70 million um, as a result of that field transaction was actually done by an independent arbitrary court and this was done that they should pay they were owing because of the way the um, you know the, their transaction wasn't honored and the fact that an agreement wasn't honored according to the contracts that had been agreed by both parties years down the line we sometimes we feel that the when it comes to um, judgment and courts the way we do it any anyhow in Nigeria whereby you can choose to honor or dishonor a particular judgment, you can do it with international bodies. It's not the same anywhere. And so now these three aircraft are being held as almost collateral. And the judgment is that until Ogun State honors the, uh, and pays the bailiff of, to the tune of over, 70, over $76 million, they won't release the aircraft. Mm -hmm. And now the federal government is suffering from a decision and bad 
administration, bad judgment yes. by a particular administration. This is not the only thing. Remember the PNID case? We've had a number of cases like this where we almost bury our heads in the sand and then we have to pay years and years later for it. I can't imagine the interest that accrued on this over the years and now we are having to pay. Where is the money to pay for it, OG? The, this aircraft, the third one you mentioned, hasn't even been delivered. The other two went for maintenance. The third aircraft, which Nigeria is reportedly have paid over $100 million, is also being held yeah. to ransom as a result of this bad um, con this contract that went so. So like you mentioned, we have to hear from the Ogun State government yes. as to why they didn't, what, what happened. So we get the true picture of things, but to be honest, the court had ruled. Yes. So the court had the opportunity to hear both sides both of the story things. and ruled in favor of Zhang Jun, which is a Chinese company. Yes. So maybe let's start paying off the debts. So we get, that's just the uh, penalty. Wait. Million so they've kidnapped dollars. The, they've kidnapped three. Three. them ransom. Uh, yes, so uh, yes, they're holding it. They're three holding it. Three. 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 Just the like that, Rufai. Is it the president when they want to go and say? Well, well, we don't know. I think I believe one of them that they yeah. said that you know has not yet been delivered. Has not yet been delivered. Probably that we the just one purchased. in contention. Just, one of them. So, so what, they said jet, not yours. So what? <laughs> what we bought it? They've kidnapped. All right, seventy-four point five million dollars is what they're asking. Well.